What is up, people? It's Unknown Secret Productions, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Transformers Studio Series 62 Deluxe Class Revenge of the Fallen Sound Wave. Wow, that was longer than I expected. <coughs> yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, I'll, ju I'll just say right off the bat, yes, the stand is actually included. Mainly, I guess mainly just because of the satellite mode, which in my opinion is not that great, in my opinion. Well, I mean, from the front, it does look like somewhat of a believable satellite, but once you start to turn it around, you start to, you start to see that the, basically just the arms and the legs hanging off the back, so he's perpetually just doing some kind of weird yoga pose while his waist is backwards. Seriously, like, that's his crotch right there, and that's the front of the body. But yeah, um, not, um, apart from that, I really do like this design, though. And yes, this stand is removable, but then you just pop it on the ground, it doesn't look that good at all. And for anyone wondering, yes, you can take any Hasbro and Takara figure, or Studio Series figure in this in this case, I'm using the Studio Series 57G Bumblebee. And there's this little port on the back, on the, uh, like right here. And you can just simply put it in this hole. Ah, uh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, th there we go. Although, um, it doesn't really do much because they would just usually be like, like this. Only see is like the hinge joint here. And, um, the, the base also has a little, has a little swivel. And like for, for any like figure, it's either good, just going to be like this or just be standing up and upright, but, um, they'll be still slightly, slightly up higher in the air. In this case, this figure actually has a hinge joint here, which allows him to basically to basically just be hovering up like that. Uh, okay, now back to Soundwave. So yeah, satellite mode, decent. These things, it doesn't really matter how you put them. Me personally, I just like uh, have them having them like this. And, um, I'm, it's been a while since I've seen Revenge of the Fallen, and I know most people say it's a terrible movie, but in my opinion, it's not a bad one, but definitely not perfect. And yes, there is definitely some questionable design choices. But yeah, um, basically that's it for the satellite mode, and without further ado, I'm just gonna plug this back in. Let's get into the transformation for robot mode. And here we have the robot mode, and in my opinion, it's, it will, as you can tell from that short transformation sequence, you could see that the transformation was very, very simple, especially for the satellite mode being not that great in my opinion, but the robot mode was, um, I guess, probably compromised for this sake, I guess. Uh, I guess they just didn't care for the satellite mode when they were in the making of this figure. And, um, yeah, the looks, um, I don't mind the most, the majority of the figure being just, like, unpainted gray plastic. And I'm not sure, like, these, like, uh, like, uh, specks of, like, dark gray are supposed to be, like, scattered throughout the, scattered throughout the figure. I guess it's supposed to be some kind of space weathering, but, um, I don't think it works too well. Why does that shake the camera every time I do that? But, uh, yeah, mechanical detail is basically the same for most, uh, Studio Series figures, which is to say, it's awesome. And now, for the posability, the head is on a, basically, kind of unlimited ball joints. And there's also a hinge joint at the neck, which allows him to look up that far, and look down not that far. You also get a, rota a rotation at the shoulder, and the arm moves out that far, if you have this, uh, thing... Like in that, and they could ba that's basically as far out as you can get gonna get it. These things are also on a hinge joint. You do get a uh, bicep swivel, a pretty good bend at the elbow, and a very limited waist swivel unless you like do this, and then it's kind of unlimited, but um, it doesn't really do much to help. And the uh, and the uh, these uh, things are on a hinge joint. And the hips are on ball joints, which allows him to kick forward that far. And the leg can move back that far, and he can't do the splits that much. You also get a proper thigh swivel. A really good bend at the knee. 
and an excellent ankle pivot, which is this time is actually filled in by that. And for accessories, of course, it comes with the backdrop, which of course I'm not taking out. And unfortunately, the only it really kind of accessory that you do get is the stand, but couldn't they have included like some kind of like guns for the Studio Series 351 Soundwave, which I don't have, but still. But anyways, um, yeah, robot mode, I don't think it's too bad at all. But for now, let's just get on, wait, let's just get on to the size comparisons. Here he is next to Figma Kyoko Sakura, Studio Series Leader Class Shockwave, NECA Godzilla, Masterpiece Movie Barricade, and Studio Series Deluxe Class Jeep Bumblebee again. So, there you have that. And as far as the box goes, you get your image assembly, Fable 62, Studio Series Soundwave, Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, at least officially licensed as per product. On side of the box, you get Soundwave, of course, authentic Transformers. On side of the box, you get Studio Series 62 with Soundwave, four different languages of Deluxe Class. On the top of the box, Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. On the bottom, use of stuff and barcodes. On the back, you get your product sets, Transformers at 10 steps, Orbital, Espionage, Soundwave, and... So some final thoughts on the figure. I think it's a decent figure. Um, okay, so either if you're just a Studio Series Transformers completionist or if you're just looking for a Soundwave figure, this is not a bad choice. Uh, just keep in mind, you're not getting any accessories apart from the stand. And no, I am not lying about that. These are just the guns included with the Studio Series Deluxe Sideswipe, which is also not a terrible figure, but not good at not by that much. But even still, I would I would probably uh, recommend uh, mainly just recommend this figure to Studio Series completionists. But yeah, apart from that, that is my review on the Studio Series 62 Soundwave. And as always, I will see you all in my next video. Peace out.